I'm Kain from the Tech Pro, and today we are going to start from part 6 of our Angular UI for Spring Boot API application step by step with no step skips, with all the steps and cost name page for you in my website. If you also need this day, the complete application, please go to my GitHub repository and get the complete application and use it to play around. So today we are going to solve the problem I gave you as an assignment. I gave you this assignment, I hope you did it, okay? And this assignment simply means create all the other controls in the form. So if you got it correctly, I'm going to simply show you what it's going to look like. Uh, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Uh, just get something right. Um, okay, so. All right, so I have, I copied it on my clipboard and I'm going to paste it right here, command V. Meanwhile, before now, this is what we have. Okay, everything is pasted, okay, that is fine. So if you got it like this, this is fine, all right? So, um, I think I have some, okay, no problem. So we have this four, uh, it's coming up. So let's see, let's go back here. We have handling form submission. Give me one second. Let me just make sure everything is fine before we proceed. Um, okay, I think I mixed up something somehow. Um, I, cop I pasted the wrong one. Uh, so, 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 okay. Anyway, let's kind of proceed. So similar to the, uh, I actually would like to, okay, let's take out the read-only. The reason is because when you go here and you go to new print, you have all this is, is read-only. So let's take it out. So I'm going to take out, um, so these are actually departments. Just copy this. Um, copy and B. Okay. So this should be fine. And um, okay. So let's remove all the read only from here. So take out this read only. Take, oh, sorry. Take out this read only as well. Take out the read only. Uh, this can be email, there's nothing wrong. This is country. Okay, uh, department, department, email, email, and fine. All right, so I'm going to save everything and I'm going to check. So you can see we have it correctly, it is fine, okay. So let's proceed to the next part. Let me just reduce the font of this to something else, okay. Okay, good. Um, Let's go back to the procedure so that we don't mix out anything. Similar to the get function, we need to also write a function that will handle posts, okay? So when user fills on this form, he, he posts to the server. This function will be executed when a user clicks on the submit button inside the, the form, okay? So we need to uh, check this form. Now this form has a close button, this close button uh, has uh, the caption save. Let's leave this button and use it as a close button and we are going to add another button for submit. So let me just call this button close button. So if I save everything and I go back to the UI, I go to print so you can have close button, this is fine. Let's now add another button that is going to handle uh, um, submit. I go back to my website, you have this button right here. So it's simply a button uh, I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to explain it. Now this button for submitting a form has to be inside the form, all right? So I'm going to come inside the form right here and paste this button right here. It's simply a submit button. It has data dismiss model, meaning that when you submit an item, it's going to also submit and close the model as well. That's why we have data dismiss model, okay? Finally, 
I would like, I say I, I mentioned something about template driven form and reactive form. I don't know if I to be here. Okay, no, I didn't say it about this here. But template driven form is what we are using right now. You can see how easy it is to use template driven forms. Okay. Uh, I would like to, okay, so we need on submit. We need on submit, so I'm going to copy this on submit and use it on the form here. So we have hash f is equal to ng form, submit is on submit. We've now written the on submit function, we are going to write it. Finally, we need to add the function to execute when the user clicks on the submit. When the user submits this function by clicking on the button on the form, when you click on the button on the form, it's going to submit. The, this function is going to execute and when this function is executed and it's going to it's, it's going to pass the form across to the as a, to the submit function in the type script so I'm going to copy this these are on submit function take some time to understand the I've also added a comment to help clarify so if I go back to our uh, type script file I'm going to just paste this on submit form on submit code right here okay now we have an error that says ng form add an import statement so just add an import statement because it seems i don't know if i missed miss miss missed out doing that okay we need to add an import statement anyway so this is what we have here ng form imported right here all right okay um so we have this Fix comment format, fix comment format. Uh, I think it's time for us to test this application to see uh, how or whether we are making some progress or not. But give me one second, let me just check. Okay, so let's go back to uh, this page. So if I go back to add frames, let's say I add, let me just permit me to add something, anyhow it is. Before I submit, take note that we have this URL is wrong. We are going to correct it. It's going to be 9001, 9001, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. It's 9001 slash friends slash add new. And we are saying HTTP client that post. We give a URL, we give f that value contains the form values, the forms, uh, the form values, okay? And then you specify the subscribe, and then this only need after submitting, reload the form, and then close the model. Okay. But there's something I'm afraid. Uh, let me kind of submit first. Okay, perfect. It's submitted. I think I missed out something, but it seems I did not. So you submitted this form. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the HTML. Okay. Okay, so I think it's clear. The form submitted perfectly well, but for now nothing happens. Okay. Oh no, this is not where we are. So this is where we are. And this is where we are. Uh, I'm submit. I'm working on a wrong place. So this is where we are. So if I click on new, if I add a few things, and I click on submit, uh, it submitted and it also created a new space so there is a whole lot of mix up so let me show you what is happening here for you to be able to uh, solve this problem you are going to add something called ng model to all the controls so I'm going to go to all the controls and say ng model ng model so just ng model that's all so that's what you are going to add so ng model kind of binds the form values to 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 the to the model that is to to the the, the friend object that will be created with the values in the form okay email and country 
Okay. All right. So we also say no validate. That is fine. Now, uh, hopefully, I'm not mixing up anything. So the first thing I'd like us to do, let's correct this error first. So to correct this error, I'll simply go back to the original API. I think that should be the friends API. I'm going to simply restart it so that it can re reinitialize this data. Okay. I'm going to restart it. I'm going to run it again. And I can just minimize it backwards. So I'm going to refresh. Okay. So we have the original set of data. And now we are going to add a new frame by. Wow. What happened? Uh, okay, so let's solve this problem because uh, I'm going to go to inspect just to check if ng model is used within a form type. Either the name attributes must be set or the form must be defined as stand alone. Okay, give me one second. I think I know where the problem is coming from. Just give me one second. Let me just get it correctly. Um, uh, just give me one second, let me just cross check something. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's let's get back here. Um, I think I, I simply will do one thing. Let me reduce the font of this for now. And I'm going to. I don't really know where the error is coming from, but I think it should be fine by now. So take some time to go through to check it and make sure you understand it. So when we use ng model, we need to specify the name, the name of the form. Okay. The name of the control has to be specified. Okay. So I'm going to con uh, save everything and then I'm going to close this and I think it should be fine by now. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, go to new friends. Let me add a friend from India. Uh, Rajav, okay, uh, Gagan, yeah, I have a friend called Gagan Kumar, Kumar department is computer, uh, computer, let's leave it computer, Gagan at yahoo.com, country, India for sure, I'm going to just uh, do this and say submit, so you can see this worked perfectly well. I really don't know where that problem comes from, but if you if you follow the instruction in my website, I think everything should be fine. So at this point, we've succeeded in submitting a record to the server, and the next step now we are going to work on edit, uh, delete, and also show details. So I'm going to stop here. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, activate notification. I am kind on the Tech Pro. This is what I do for free. I, I, I have the intention of helping as many as possible, possible become computer programmers and uh, we'll see in the next part.